Ivane. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Oscar. Hi, teacher. Hi, Ever. Hi, Vicky. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm okay, teacher. Excellent. Very nice. A little, a little wet because right now it's raining. It's raining. Yes, it's okay. raining a lot. <laughs> a little. Uh, here it's been raining all day. Yes, yes, all day. Very, very wet, no? But. Yes, I guess it's okay. It's winter now. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Give me a second here. <clears throat> Wait, guys, please, just give me a second. Hi, Domingo. Give me a second, guys, please. I just need to do something. Give me one second. All right, hi, Domingo. Hello, Domingo. Hi, teacher. How are you? I am good. Excellent, that's good. Okay, very good. All right, guys, excellent. So we're going to continue with what we've been studying the past weeks. So I'm just going to share my um, book with you here. The last time we were working on this, give me one second. Last Friday, we were actually working on this building vocabulary and we were ranking the impact of risks and hazards at the workplace from the least serious to the most serious, all right? Now, 
we had uh, some of the risk and hazards that are presented here. We had financial loss, loss of trust in the organization, loss of customers, business interruption, property damage, and casualties. All right, so we had this um, six risk and hazards. And many of you decided that the law, the casualties is like the most serious and maybe the loss of trust in the organization or business interruption is the least serious. Obviously, it depends on the company, depends on the owner, depends on the staff, what would be a very um, serious hazard or a very serious risk. Later, yo cuando estemos otro ratito en una, no sé, media hora tal vez, I'm going to give you some addresses and I want you to watch some videos that I want you to pay attention and they are related to risk and hazards at the workplace, okay? So that's something that I want to do with you later today. All right, now here it says, Okay, we're gonna do this later here, and then we're going to work on this right now. It says page 40, which is pretty much the last page of the book. It says, I will be able to identify key information in a passage about a fire escape plan. All right, number one, is there an emergency plan at your workplace? Have you been informed about what to do in case of fire or an earthquake? Okay, I want us to concentrate right now on this, on these questions. It says, is there an emergency plan at your workplace? Voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Now, hi, Danny. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Nice. Relax. Excellent. Is it raining by your place? Yes, um, in my in my workplace for from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. is raining all the afternoon. Oh, really? In my house, it's been raining since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. It hasn't stopped. All right. So it's been very, very wet. All right. So, Mariano, good evening. Claudita, also Jorge. Good uh, Carlita Benaciri, Carla Michelle. All right, so question number one, estamos para los que van entrando, page 40, exercise one. Is there an emergency plan at your workplace? A ver, Eve, at your workplace, is there an emergency plan? No, teacher, we don't have anything emergency plan. Oh, okay. Why? Because the office, because the, the, the office is very very short, and we work only a family in, in there. Okay. Um. Sometimes only four or three per people person in in working in the place. Okay. And we don't have any 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 plan for the emergency. Ah. Okay. Now, ever do you think? It's necessary, or do you think it's not necessary? What do you say? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, in one company more big or more bigger is necessary. Okay. We have to one plan for whatever energy, and uh, for energy natural, natural or uh, uh -huh, the the hazards or, or whatever things or or others uh problems that will be present in the future no that no que no sean predecibles right predictable okay yes yes now does you say that your company or the is a business it's a family business there are not many people in there so do you find it not necessary then no, did you? When we have some uh, emergency, uh, we call uh, the nine one one. Okay. Or, or, All right. All right. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's that's the teacher. Okay. okay, that's fine. Now, have you? I'm sorry, Ever. 
Have you ever had an emergency work in your workplace or not really? Not so far. Thanks God, no. Till no. <laughs> and I hope it siempre se mantenga así or will we have? All right. Okay, of course. Very good. Interesting. Let's see. Domingo. In your workplace, Domingo, do you have an emergency plan? Uh, my word, emergency plan. Emergency plan? Does your work have an emergency plan? Uh, um, yes, um, I know a specific uh, plan is uh, a normative, normative, Eva, normative, uh, the, the police the gobierno como sería política del ah, ajá, ajá. o del trabajo ajá las okay. que the eh, uh, in, in my in my world the is uh, emergency plan is uh, evacuation uh, I, I o sea I group the play the people's uh, group the people's uh, uh, for evacuation, uh, control uh, five. Okay. Uh, uh, I I I one group the uh, for the primero auxilio como se. First aid. First aid. Uh -huh. First aid. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. I sería one two three. Uh, three for three group. Okay. Is the three group and just eh, and you and you come to see a key eh, um, wow para terremoto eh, equals, earthquake equate eh, uh huh or oh, of oh, fry and eh, okay oh, fry into eh, the practice eh, um is there a, a simulacro, a simulacro, 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 simulacro? A drill, simulacro? a drill. I drill, I drill. Uh -huh. I, uh, two, I drill, is, is there. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So that's like a prevention plan. Yes. All right, mm -hmm. yeah. okay, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Domingo, how many people work in your company? Do you know, like, about? Eh, la cantidad de personas. Uh -huh. How many people, yes. Uh, uh, is, um, the, uh, for, for country. Oh, a lot of people. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, Okay, interesting, thank you. All right, let's see. Hi, Carla, Vanessa, good evening. All right, and Debbie and Roberto Bernabe and Walter, very good. All right, let's see. Chamba, what about in your workplace, Chamba? Do you have an emergency plan? Uh, yes, we have, Miss. Uh, we have a different plan for different emergencies. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. emergency, uh, because in my... In my case, mm -hmm. I'm training in in case in the fire or earthquake, okay. and in training a different people. And these people is a champion or leader. Oh. And okay. Then we have a, any emergency. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay, thank you, Chamba. Very nice. Oscar, what about you in your um company or your office? Do you have an emergency plan? Yes, I have an, we have a committee uh, for the emerging emergency. Emergency, uh-huh. All right. I have a committee. Okay, all right. I'm committee of emergency. Yes, emergency committee, yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you have yeah. different committees or only one big 
Only one for every earthquake, fire, okay. and any emergency. Only one committee. All right. How many people work in your company, Oscar? About around 40 or 50 people. Each All right. person. Okay. All right. People. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Let's see. Um, Daniel, in your case, do you have an emergency plan in the company? Yes, teacher, we have a plan um, emergency and the, in all all the, all in the all buildings and all warehouse uh, have a system uh, that the company have a system anti-fire system. Okay. Yes, uh, when where, where the where the system is when no when when no when no when no hay un algo se siente en la algo caliente. Uh -huh. La temperatura aumenta, este, hay unos aspersores de, eh, de agua. Like water, water. Like yes. Water yes. Okay. yes, and a lot of people, um, the most, of, la mayoría de, de, de empleados, have a training for, for hand, handle the fire extinguisher okay. o, o la, or fire hose. Hose, uh, es manguera. Yes, 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 fire hose, yes, yes, yes. okay. It's fire hose. Oh. And the, in the every every in in the in the buildings and next to the door mm -hmm. is uh is the, have a fire extinguisher. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, let's listen to one more. In maybe for Carla Vanessa or Walter Mariano or Vanesita and Noemi. Do you guys have emergencies, emergency plans in your office at your workplace? Anybody? Yes, in, in my case, we have a protocol okay. for earthquake and, and what to say, fire, fire emergency. Fire emergency, yes. Okay. And, and the plant manufacturer also have uh, when uh, uh, emergency about uh, dangerous substance. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, very good. Very good, interesting. All right, guys, I'm gonna take, uh, Mariano, you were gonna say something? Uh, no, teacher, uh, o sea, <laughs> in, in, my, in my office, no, didn't have a, a plan. Okay. But, uh, it's been it's more homemade the protocol of the oh. <laughs> security. Okay. All right. Uh, a kit of uh, ID. Well, come on. And nothing more. All right, Mariana, very good. Okay, interesting. All right, let's see. I'm going to take attendance right now, guys, and then I'm going to tell you what we're going to be working on. All right, so we have Abner Lee, Fuentes Flores, Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuegra. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gomez. All right, we have Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Roberto Bernabé. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Oops. Present. Thank you. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Oscar, Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Anulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Miss. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present. Thank you. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Ana, thank you. Ana Maria Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. 
Present teacher. Thank you. David just mean Hiron Ramirez. Present teacher. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you, guys. All right. Okay. Before we continue, guys, I have to give you some announcements. Uh, tomorrow we have a class. Acuérdese que a mí, por cuestiones eh, que fueron obviamente ajenos a mi persona, tuvimos que suspender la clase de un viernes. No recuerdo la fecha y solo estuvimos like, como media hora. Entonces, vamos a reponer la hora y media que nos faltó mañana y mañana cerramos módulo, cerramos curso. Quiere decir que mañana tenemos que hacer el um, cuestionario de satisfacción. No sé si ya se los mandaron a sus correos o su WhatsApp. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. Entonces, sí. mañana, yes. Great. mañana igual, acuérdense que la dinámica es hacerlo en clase. Together. All right. Así es que no se adelante a hacerlo. Mañana lo hacemos. Entonces mañana nos vamos a ver de 8 a 9 y media. Pero diría yo que el, el um, bueno, no me han dado todavía la hora exacta, pero quizás tipo ocho y media vamos a empezar a hacer la encuesta de satisfacción. Ahora right, para que lo tengan en mente. Así es que sí tendrían que eh, obviamente estar, porque acuérdense que yo sé que no fue eh, culpa, digamos, suya, ¿verdad? Pero le faltarían esos minutos eh, para que tenga todos lo, los minutos que tiene que ser correspondiente a este nivel. All right. No sé si ya les dieron fecha tentativa de inicio del siguiente? Todavía no? All right. Ok. No, All right. Ok, está bien, pero igual yo creo que descansarían obviamente lo que resta de la semana y probablemente toda la siguiente, ¿verdad? Para que recuperen energías y sigan con su intermedio 3. All right. Very good, guys. Ok. So, we're going to continue with this here. Let's see. Question number two. Have you been informed about what to do in case of an earthquake or a fire? A ver, um, Carla Vanessa, in your company, Carla, do you know what to do in case of a fire or an earthquake in the company? No por intuición, Vane, sino que porque sabe, <laughs> you know what to do because you were told. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah that's, that's what I would do. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, we have in every office, in my, in my case, yes. I work in the office, but we have the plant of manufacturing. Uh, we have in every corner an extinguisher. Okay. So uh, that's the only thing that we have. And, and we have a system of, that detects the smoke. Okay, a smoke detector. Yeah. All right, okay. Now, let's say that Ojalá, primero Dios no, ¿verdad? Pero let's say, Ivane, Carla Vanessa, that there is a fire in the company. What do you guys have to do? Like the employees, do, do you have like a special emergency exit? Do you go to a safe point? What do you do? Yes, we have uh, emergency doors. Okay. So we are going to, we have to go to the emergency doors and that takes you outside to the company. Okay. And there is a specific uh, point of meeting. Meeting point, uh -huh. of, Yeah, of every department in the plant. Oh. There is no, not only only uh, one exit door. Okay. There are many. Emergency exit door, there are many. Okay, like how many do you have in the company, Carla? Do you know? Like, Wow. Yeah, the thing is like the, the, the plant is very big. Yeah, yes. we have four. <laughs> now, now we are going, we have four uh, spots. Very wow. big. Really? So it's getting bigger? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Carla. All right. Okay, very nice. Do you know, Carlita, how many people work in the company? Uh around 300 okay all right yeah it's a big company all right interesting let's yeah. see thank you carla vanessa let's see uh vanessa noemi in your company 
do you know what to do, Vanessa, in case of an emergency? Yes, teacher. <laughs> I I run first. <laughs> yes, teacher. We have a uh, security system, and they inform us uh, monthly the uh, what we have to do in an emergency. And first, um, keep the calm and keep away from doors or keep away from windows. And vidrio, puertas de vidrio, teacher, how do you say Glass that? doors, glass doors. Oh, glass doors. Glass, oh, glass Keep thing. away from glass doors. Okay. And the company do drills and yes. simulacro. Yes, drills, uh -huh. drills, and planet drills, and like surprise drill. Okay. And and only that, but they um yes, they monthly inform us to be prepared in case of emergencies. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Very good. Interesting. Okay. So I guess most of the companies especially big companies they must have an emergency plan and they must have an emergency protocol just like what walter, walter was saying committees all right domingo you wanted to say something excuse me no pensé que iba a decir algo no no oh no okay <laughs> all right <laughs> so that's okay so you have to have emergency plans and you have to have emergency protocols committees all right groups especially as i said the bigger the company is the more mm -hmm. protocols and the more uh plans you have to have all right so to have drills is very very important all right so that's something that we need to keep in mind all right now Let's see, before we do the reading, hold on guys, uh, just give me a second here. Before we do the reading. All right, okay, Claudita. Good evening, teacher, hi. <laughs> all right, very good. So before we do the reading, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to your groups and I want you to, to make a list of an emergency plan, one for earthquakes and one for fire, okay? But do not copy from the internet because that's very easy, okay? Busquemos en la internet y pongámosle y that's it. No, I want you to, you write it, all right? Y obviamente, pues, yeah, it's obvious, all right? So one in one side or one idea is for emer an emergency plan, what to do, it's like make a list of what to do in an emergency of fire and another list of what to do in an emergency of earthquake. You can actually take yours. So si usted como empresa, en su empresa donde usted labora ya existe uno, pues compártalo eh, con su compañero o compañera, eh, socialícelo, cuéntele lo que hacen, and then you can write your own, okay? But I don't want copy paste from Google. All right, it's your own. What do you think? What do you have to do in an emergency of fire and an earthquake emergency, okay? So we're gonna go, um, en 12 minutos más o menos os voy a sacar los, los compañeros que están ocupados en trabajo o en tráfico, it's okay, quédense por acá. All right, los demás nos vamos. So make a list of what to do in an emergency of fire and what to do in an emergency of earthquake, okay? Y la vamos a socializar aquí cuando regresemos.
All right, guys. Did you finish, Debbie, Daniel? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. So, Dani, can you start telling us uh, who who did you work with, Dani? With Domingo and Oscar, no? And yes, Domingo and Oscar. Oscar, please share your screen. I don't think he's back right now. He's coming. Okay. Oscar's coming back right now. Let's just wait for him for a little bit. Oscar, do you mind sharing your screen? So you guys can tell me and tell us what you came up with, please, Oscar. Okay, in one moment. Yeah. All right, oh, nice. <laughs> okay, protocol, but okay. All right, let's see. It looks pretty good. Let's see, Daniel. Uh, maybe, Daniel, you can read one and then Oscar or Domingo can read the rest. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, protocol by fire. Keep calm. And you identify source of fire. Okay. And use the extinguisher. I have an error the devil. <laughs> okay. And activate the alarm. Use the equation group when alarm come. Okay. Oscar, Oscar, continue, please. <laughs> Thanks. Go to the meeting point. Use only emergency emergency door call the emergency system 911 excellent very good and domingo <laughs> protocol by request okay uh, king car uh, identify or local evacuation route yes king i work from window uh -huh. uh, cover your hip with with your arms and hands. Okay. Don't use a lever to. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, go to the meeting, meeting, meeting point. Yes. Uh, check the leaks, check leaks the people of the workplace. Oh, all right. Okay, very good. Okay, so when we say protocol, we can say protocol of fire, no by fire. All right. Okay. Es, por, okay. es de fuego, no por fuego. All right. That that okay. would be in English is off fire. All right. Igual, um, hay un error de dedo como dijo Domingo, donde dice use the evacuation road when the alarm sounds en el fire. Arriba. Ah, ok. Eh, y cuando suena la alarma, when alarm sounds, con ese sounds. All right. Yes. Y when the Ahí pusimos de, de, de en español, de. <laughs> All right, go to the meeting point. Use only emergency doors. Call the emergency systems 911. Very nice. Identify your local evacuation road. Keep away from windows. Cover your head with. El spelling the with del earthquake is W-I-T-H. Abajo. W-I-T-H. Uh -huh. Your arms and cover your head with your arms and hands. Very good. Don't use elevator. Go to the meeting point, check the list. Check the list of the people. Of the it's, people. It's like, it's like, uh, como, como, lista de asistencia, o sea, que todo está yeah. completo. Yeah, check mm -hmm. the list of, of people at the workplace. Very good. All right, interesting. Very nice. Thank you. I like the pictures. All right, solo pronunciación sería road. That's okay. El road oh. y eh, identifies the C. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Extinguishers. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Carla, Vanessa, Vicky, and Walter. Do you have anything that you can share with us? Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right, fire management. Okay, nice. I like that one. <laughs> we create a plan okay. for five states. For the, the order, no, it's relevant. Uh, we okay. need to check 
All but right. first, give to give to employer a specific training how to use uh, Estento. Yes. To define okay. a leader for department who is responsibility to evacuate everyone in his place. Okay. And Bane, can you continue, please? Okay. Define the meeting point where all employees should be going in case of emergency or fire. Okay. And four, give a training about substances, inflammable substances. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And number five, frequently shop the hazard areas with a risk and uh, to make a fire and stay in control under the standards. All right, very good. Okay. All right, that's nice. Thank you. All right. So give, quitemole number one, Walter, quitemole two. Give the employee, give the employee a specific training on how, on how to use an extinguisher and a, uh -huh, a fire extinguisher. Okay. Define a leader for department who is responsible, not responsibility, sino que responsible. Responsible, aha. Uh -huh. Excellent. To evacuate everyone in his place, okay. Define the meeting, meeting, meeting point where all employees should be going in case of emergency or fire or fire emergency, very good. Give a training about inflammable substances. I can darle vuelta, como dijo Vane. And number five, frequently check the hazard areas with a risk to make a fire, okay. And stay in control under the standards. Okay, nice, thank you, I like that one. Very nice, thank you, Vane, thank you, Vicky, and thank you, uh, Walter, very nice. Let's see. Um, Vanesita, no sé si logró trabajar, Vane, Noemi. Vane? Did you work alone, Vane? Or did you work with Jorge? Sí, con Vanessa estábamos trabajando. Okay. Vane, no sé si le escucho. Ahí está, compadre. Ay, sí, sí puedo ver, Vane. <laughs> Okay, what to do in earthquake and what to do in fire. Okay. Jorge, you want to read the earthquake? Okay. Uh, keep the calm. Mm -hmm. Keep away from windows, glass doors, electric installation. Excellent. Look, security sinks. Go, uh, go, side, go side for emer emergency. Emergency door. Huh? Look and and go to meeting place. To letter checks a list white employees name to ensure that personnel is outside. Okay. Info to industrial security letter letter if some employees. Is not in the meeting place and notified to sec rescue. rescue 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 team call to emergency number if is necessary. Oh wow! Okay, all right, very good. Eh, Vane, no sé si tiene le puse el micrófono, Vane. No, maybe not. All right. ¿Quién más estaba con usted? Ah, Roberto Bernabé, pero creo que él no estaba dentro, ¿verdad, Jorge? Solo nosotros. Solo sí, usted. No, creo que no tiene el micrófono activo ella, ¿verdad? Sí, yo creo que él está fallando. All right, vale, no se preocupe, lo leemos aquí. All right. Okay. What to do in, um, in fire? All right. It says, keep calm, use the extinguisher if it's possible to stop the fire. Okay. Keep away from windows, glass doors, electric installation, go outside from an emergency door. Look and go to meeting place, call firemen, all right? The leader checks a list with employees to ensure, 
the personnel uh, is outside. <laughs> okay, vale. <laughs> no se preocupe. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you. Uh, inform industrial security leader if some employee is not in the meeting place and notify the rescue team. Wait for indications. Okay, very good. Um, vale, pero usted está compartiendo, ¿verdad? Solo me da la, la cabecita. Yes, okay. A ver, eh, en las dos, en ambos casos, Vane, quitémosle keep the calm, solo ponemos keep calm. Es como mantenga la calma, no the calm en español, all right? Igual que el otro, ok. Keep away from windows, glass door, electric installation, super, look for security signs, go outside through. La número cuatro, Vane, go outside through emergency doors. Excellent, H. Sí, sí, está bien, G H. Excellent. Look and go to uh, to meeting place. Okay, the leader checks a list with employees' names, con ese names, to ensure to ensure that personnel. Eh, ahí podemos hacer dos cosas, Vane. To ensure that the personnel is outside, or solo to ensure the personnel is outside. That the or solo the personnel. Ajá. Inform to inform, quítale el tú en seven, inform industrial security leader if some employee is not in the meeting place and notify the rescue team. No tú, solo the rescue team. Call, ok, quítale el tú en el número ocho, call an emergency number if it is necessary. Póngale el it is, if it is necessary. Good. Ahora right, creo que eran las mismas del otro lado, van, revísalas ahí, les da guardar. Very nice. Thank you. Excellent, Vane. Very nice. No se preocupe con el audio. Yo la oigo. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Trini, Claudita, and Debbie. Y después Ever, Salvador y Mariana no estaba ahí adentro. En ese grupo. Sí, teacher, pero se me, se me cayó el inter. Ah. All right. So Trini and Debbie. That's okay. Solo las escribimos, Tiche. Ok, David, no se preocupe, ok. <ríe> ok. Eh, in case of fire, find a safe place. Ok. Call to emergency, keep call and breathe. Stay away from electricity wires. Wires, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Sí, sí, sí. Look for the fire extinguisher. Extinguisher, ah. Some very similar teacher. Okay, it's okay. In case air quick, stay away from electricity where wires and windows. Okay. Do not run and stand. Do not use the elev elevator. Yes. Follow the signs to find emergency exit. To find, to find emergency exit, okay. To find emergency exit. Okay, That's very good, excellent, <laughs> thank you, that's fine. Let's see, Chamba, Mariano, and Ever. Teacher. Yes. 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 Okay, thank you. <laughs> Are you sharing Ever, Mariano, or Chamba? Or just reading? Yes, teacher. Chamba got it. Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, yes, miss. I'm, I'm sharing. Okay, you're sharing. Oh, no. oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, Miss, in fire emergency, the first step is activate the fire alarm. Okay. Help others only if it's safe to do. Wow, okay. Help is, how do you pronounce? Extinguish. Extinguish, extinguish the fire only if you're authorized and train it. Ah, okay. Ex exit the building, follow the emerging maps. Okay. And one then one. Ever or Mariano. Call 911 <laughs> immediately. And provide information. Okay. 
in the case of earthquake teacher okay the first tip a uh, kelp calm drop cover and hold on okay. and the uh, uh, ever <laughs> okay the last one the last keep calling keep calling it pupusas no I'm kidding after the shaking of stuff <laughs> Check the damage and injuries needing attention. Wow. All right. I like that. Uh, Chamba, can you go back to the first one, please? Excellent. Yes. Very nice. A ver, activate the fire alarm. Super bien. Help others. Ay, Chamba. <laughs> Help others only if it is safe to do. Okay. Help extinguish the fire. A ver, eh, en ese, Ever, leame esa, esa, la tercera, Ever. The fire. The third. Help extinguish. Let me, let me. Okay. Help extinguish the fire only if you are out put it side and train it. Okay. A ver, Mariano, leame eso usted también. Help extinguish the fire only if you are authorized, authorized and train it. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Si estuviéramos presencial, no le dieron un sticker. All right, a ver. Es... <laughs> Help extinguish the fire only if you are authorized. Authorized. Authorized and trained. And trained. Okay, all right. Authorized, <laughs> trained, very good. Exit the building following emergency maps. Very good. Call 911 immediately and provide information. I like that. Very nice, guys. De hecho, no hay ningún error ahí. Super nice. Next one. Teacher. Yes. Send the sticker by message. <laughs> I know it. Eh? <laughs> I should. Earthquake, okay. keep calm, drop cover, and hold on. Wow, I like that one. After the shaking stops, check for damages and injuries needing attention. All right, cool. All right, very nice. Thank you, guys. I like your pictures. Very nice. Thank you, Chamba. Thank you. All right, very nice. Ahora, una palabra que tenemos en común que a muchos nos cuesta es emergencia. Emergency. All right, it's a fire emergency, earthquake emergency, emergency. Emer no es emer emergency, no, emergency. Okay, obviamente el 911, ¿verdad? 911, ese apréndaselo. Just in case you have an emergency, okay? Very good, y luego es el earthquake, emergency, and all that. Very nice, guys, excellent, very good. I'm gonna share, no, ¿sabe qué? Necesito pasar asistencia ahorita. Y luego les voy a compartir aquí something that I have for you. Just give me a second. All right. All right, Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Very good. Uh, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniela. Present. Thank you, Claudita. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Bernabé. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Anulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Vanessa Noemi Present, Reyes. Miss. Thank you. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Present. Thank you. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. And Present. Thank you. And David Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present. Great, guys. Thank you. Okay. 
So here, I want to share this with you. Siempre en el contexto de eh, plans here, emergency plans. All right, because that's what we're talking about right now. So I'm going to share this with you so we can see it before we do the reading. Can you guys see my screen? Yes? No, teacher. Nope. No pueden ver no. screen. ¿Y ahora? No, teacher. Está cargando. Está cargando. Está cargando. <laughs> it's loading. It's loading. Yeah, hopefully. Loading. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Thank you. All right. Very good. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So we have emergency plan. Y como estamos hablando de emergency plans. All right. This is what in. Obviamente, I'm gonna talk about United States or Canada. All right. But these are the emergency plans that people follow. All right. Now, when they make an emergency plan, this is what they do. They have an emergency management cycle. And obviously it's called a cycle porque se repite, all right? And it has to go again and again and again. Number one is mitigation. Number two is preparedness, all right? Number two, number three, sorry, is response. And number four is recovery, all right? Now, obviously we want to have no emergencies, all right? But that's pretty much impossible because we are just humans, all right? So any, any emergency can happen. But this is very important to follow the cycle. Well, we repeat, don't no sé if this is a cycle that Salvadorian companies would follow. This is a cycle that American companies would follow, all right? So here we have mitigation, preparedness, response and recovery all right Obvi like obviously after an emergency you need to recover and start again okay now number two we're going to talk about number two right now when we talk about preparedness we talk about making a plan dentro del preparedness está making a plan eso que ustedes acaban de hacer build a kit is very very important for companies to build a kit and be informed. Y eso es like the employees, the supervisors, everybody that works in the company needs to be informed of what to do. Por eso hacíamos primero la pregunta de uno, ¿tienen un plan de emergencia? Dos, ¿usted conoce ese plan de emergencia y sabe qué tiene que hacer? No por lo que eh, usted daría, sino que por lo que le han dicho y usted está entrenado y está eh, sabedor o sabedora de lo que tiene que hacer. De esas tres que están acá belong to the preparedness. All right. Cuando hablamos de what is preparedness is to be ready. Y para estar ready or to be prepared, you need to have a plan, to make a plan, to build a kit and to be informed. Everyone in the company needs to be informed of this uh, plan. All right. Of this kit. Okay. Now here we have, I, chose this one, well, we repeat, this is not from El Salvador, this is actually from my university, all right, but that's fine, it's emergency response guide, we have here, we have four probable emergencies, one is fire, the other one is severe weather, acuérdese que in the States, muchos lugares tienen hurricanes, all right, or tornadoes, we don't have tornadoes here, but we can have earthquakes, cosa que not in every single state you may have. You have urgent situations. Dentro de esas urgent situations, ya vamos a ver cuáles aplican. Y violent incidents, all right? Now, donde dice fire, the first thing to do is evacuate the building, all right? So you have to give directions to meet at a, dis, a designated eva, evacuation location, o sea, un meeting point. Pull fire alarm, de hecho uno de los grupos dijo eso, ¿verdad? Pull the fire, fire alarm, if possible. If it's not possible, you can't. Call 911, shut off lights and close doors. Use fire extinguisher, if possible. También lo pusieron muchos de los grupos. Remain low. If encountering smoke, acuérdese que eso es como, le puede salvar la vida, ¿verdad? Quedarse abajo, 
Eh, because of the, the smoke. Si usted se para o camina o corre, peor, because the smoke is up here. Abajo está como menos, all right? So remain low. Es como quédese abajo. Uh, use the stairs, not elevators, all right? Luego tenemos severe weather. Move to a safe location. Bueno, acá tenemos temporales. Eso lo podemos aplicar para este tipo de tormentas. Cuando tenemos... Eh, las, eh, bueno, ahorita que no para llover, llover, llover. All right. Eh, we can move to a safe location. Y eso es donde va la evacuación. Que hay gente que la sacan de sus viviendas y la trasladan a otros lados. All right. So give directions again to meet at a designated shelter area. Shelter es que? Do you know what shelter is? Refugio. Refugio. Very good. All right. Shut of lights and closed doors. Igual, hay que apagar y cerrar puertas because you cannot have the hurricane come to you. Look for severe weather shelter area signs in your building. Vuelvo y repito, en estados, en algunos estados de Estados Unidos, valga la redundancia, tenemos o hay tornados o huracanes. Entonces, they use this a lot. De hecho, mira el dibujito. All right, go to shelter area, interior hallway, or restroom, and stay away from windows. Eso también lo pusieron mucho en los grupos. Stay away from windows because they are glass. Remain in shelter until it's safe, okay? When we talk about urgent situations, you can contact emergency services like the police, the firefighters, um, 911 anyway. All right, so a state who, what, where, when, why, and how the situation occurred. All right, usted tiene una situación de urgencia, you're going to call 911, y tiene que aplicar todas las WH questions. Who, what, where, when, why, and how, para darle toda la información posible al agent del 911. Cuando hablamos de urgent situations, aplican medical emergencies. Imagínense que alguien de sus compañeros le dio un paro, convulsionó. You need to know what to do. Esas son em medical emergencies. Eh, dentro de las urgent situations, también tenemos suspicious packages. Por ejemplo, bombing. Or de repente hay un paquete que es así como medio sospechoso. Do not touch it. All right, stay away from it. Suspicious activity, que usted siente que alguien se ha metido por ahí, all right, es como que raro, all right, so that's a suspicious activity. Suspicious person, all right, que anda rondando el edificio, si dice esa persona, I've never seen it before, what does he want? Y sigue ahí, y sigue ahí, all right. Bomb threat, es decir, es una amenaza de bomba, for example, so you can be, that's an urgent situation. If bomb threat, turn off all electronics. If medical situation, locate nearest automated external defibrillator. Esto, I don't know if we have it in El Salvador, and follow instructions. Avoid incident, sería la última. Avoid, deny, defend. Y a eso le llamamos ADD. Avoid, pay attention to your surroundings. Have an exit plan. Quickly move away from the threat. Put distance and barriers between you and the threat. Warn others of the danger. Eso es como evitar, ¿verdad? Deny, keep distance between you and the threat. No se ponga cerca de la amenaza, persona o cosa. Create barriers to prevent or slow down the threat. Turn off the lights. Hide quietly and in silence your phone. Then we have defend. Be prepared to defend yourself. Be aggressive and committed to your actions. All right. Call 911 when you are in a safe area. So these are, as I said, examples of emergencies uh, that may happen here or in any country or in any office or in any company. So I just wanted to share this with you so you guys know a little bit about or a little bit more about emergency and how to respond to that emergencies, all right? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary that we are seeing? Any questions about the vocabulary or everything's fine?
Everything okay? Entendemos todo lo que está ahí? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very nice. I teacher. like that. Yes. Please repeat the pronunciation. Suspicious. Sus suspicious. Yeah. Not the pronunciation. Yes. Ah, uh, ¿dónde está Eve? Well, in the urgent situation. Okay. Eh, Next to the, yeah, right. the question, who are, yes. Yes, all right. It says medical emergency, suspicious, suspicious package. Suspicious. Suspicious. Is it, is it suspicious? Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Suspicious. Okay, okay. Trust. Thank the you, trust. Uh huh. Suspicious. Very good. Suspicious. Right. Yes. Threat, también es amenaza, all right, no, es threat, así tal cual, threat, I don't know if there's anything else. ¿Todo lo demás está bien? Miss Surrounding. Chamba. Voy, chamita, dígame, Trini. Surrounding. Ah, alrededores. Surrounding son alrededores. Barriers. Ah, barriers son como... No sé si sería barricada, pero sí como poner algo para que la, de, la proteja a usted. Como barreras. Thank ah, you. barreras. There you go. Thank you. All right. Yes. Chamba, what were you going to ask? Yes, miss. In the part of defendant, I, what is the meaning? Com com committed. Committed. Be aggressive. Committed, committed to your action. Es como... En este caso es como ser responsable con usted mismo. Es like que usted se... Ah, ¿Cómo le explico? Committed to your actions es cuando usted cree en las acciones que usted está haciendo, por ejemplo. All right? To protect yourself, obviamente. All right? So you're committed to your actions. Usted está... Oh, my goodness. It's really explain, hard to explain, but... Um, I don't know if you understand. Es que no, no tenemos algo así tan claro en Spanish, pero... A ver, vamos a buscárselo. Espérenme, pues, para no quedarle mal. Como que fuera autodefensa. Sí, a ver. Como ser, ser responsable de sus actos. Exacto, ajá. Si usted busca uh -huh. nada más la palabra comide, chamba, es comprometido. Comprometido con sus acciones. All right. Uh -huh. Pero tenemos que darle ahí como que el the, the meaning para que tenga sentido para nosotros. All right. Okay. Okay, Miss. Sería como... Ah, ¿será así como cuando uno se defiende, o sea, si usted hace algo todavía más grande, o sea, usted es responsable de lo que hizo, algo así. Baby, vale. Ajá. 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 All right, very good. Okay, excellent, guys. Very good. Anything else? No. All right. Now I have a question for everyone here. Have you ever had any of you? Have you ever had an emergency at your workplace? Any type of emergency, no? No, teacher. Oh, nice. That's good. In case, no. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Everybody nos había comentado que no tampoco. Very good. Chamba in your work, never an emergency. Carla Vanessa, Roberto, Vicky, no? All right, that's good. That's good to know, guys. So you, you keep safe. Very good. Okay. So here, guys, we're going to go back to the book. What I want you to do right now is I want you to go back to your groups and I want you to read number two. Read the following expert about a fire escape plan. I want you to read everything. All right. And I want you to underline the words that you don't understand or that you don't know how to pronounce. And I want you to answer the questions, all right? So that's what we're gonna be working on. Nos vamos a los grupos, read it first together, ¿verdad? Vayan leyendo, divídase la lectura. I want two, three, four, five paragraphs. They just say it's paragraphs. All right, si están tres ahí, entonces you can divide two, two, and two. Si solo están dos, entonces tres y tres, pero la idea es leerlo en voz alta, ir subrayando, anotando palabras que no sabemos o que no estamos seguros o seguras del, de la pronunciación. And when you finish, I want you to answer these questions. All right, underline the best recommendation in each group about what to do in an event of fire. 
All right, guys. So we're going to go back right now. Solo espero que no me cueste mandarlos a sus grupos porque internet is a little slow today. Mariano se estaba con chamba a never, right? Yes, teacher. Creo que ya empiezan a irse. Very good. Mm -hmm.
All right, guys, so let's see. Let's read this together so we can check some pronunciation here. Number two, read the foreign expert about a fire escape plan. Daniel, can you begin reading the first paragraph? Daniel, please. Okay, teacher. Um, practice is taken from every room in the building. Mm -hmm. Practice is take plans every month. It is plans how to ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also practice pinning your way out of the building in the dark or, or with your eyes closed. All right, very good. Thank you, Daniel. Is there anything, Dani, or anybody whatsoever about this paragraph, pronunciation, or uh, meaning? Um, I have a, a, a meaning picture in okay. uh, the, the, the phrase onto an adjacent roof. It says, oh, like oh, a window sound. onto, uh -huh. Uh -huh. like a window onto an adjacent roof. Yeah. Buscar una ventana, como una ventana o un lugar adyacente al, sí. al techo, algo así. So, sí, sobre, onto es sobre. Sobre, ah, ok, uh -huh. sobre un sobre techo. Sobre un adyacente. techo uh -huh, adyacente, exacto. Ok, ok, right. thank you. Thank you. Anything else from this first paragraph, guys? Acuérdense que building no se pronuncia la U. Perdón, decimos building is building. All right, anything else from paragraph one? Teacher, y, y onto dice en adjacent. ¿Cómo se dice? Adjacent. 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 Yes. Adjacent y onto es sobre. Uh, ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Very good. All right, let's see. Oscar, can you read number two, please? Immediately. Okay. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not watch anything saving good. They the safest exit wood, but, but if you must escape through the smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gas, which can disorient your or at the worst overcome you. Excellent. Thank you, Oscar. All right. Anything else from this one, guys? Anything else from this paragraph one? Over yes, please. To, to crawl low. Ah, all right. Now, to crawl low, to crawl is gatear. All right? Crawl. Ahora, to crawl low is gatear bien por abajo, ¿verdad? Lo más agachado Bravo. posible, arrastrado, exacto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anything else? Over, overcome you. Overcome, overcome es superar. Entonces, lo peor mm. que puede pasar es que no solo se desoriente, sino que también es como que, pues sí, ya lo, lo supere a usted, entonces que ya usted no vuelve en sí o no le cueste, I don't know, desmaye. se desmaye, mm -hmm. exacto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Worst, worst teacher, worst. Peor. Uh, where is mm. it? At, at worst, lo peor. Mm, ok. Lo peor que puede pasar. Exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, ok. Excellent. Anybody else? Ok. All right, perfect. Let's see, Claudita, can you please read Never Open Doors That Are Hot to the Touch? Ok. Never Open Doors That Are Hot to the Touch. When you come to a closed door, yeah. use the back of your hand to feel to top of the door, the door, door knob, yes. and the crack between the door and door frame be made. Sure, the file is not on the other side. It is filled how to use your secondary escape road. Excellent, Claudia. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Any vocabulary from this one? Door knob. Hola. Dark knob. Dark knob. Uh, 
door knob. Door, door knob es el, la perilla de la puerta. La chapa. Ajá. O sea, lo que usted va, agarra a la puerta y le da vuelta. <laughs> door knob. Ok. Anything else? Sabemos que es door frame. Todo el marco. El marco de la, marco de la puerta. Es el door frame, yes. All right. Okay, excellent. Uh, Debbie, can you please redesignate a meeting place outside and take attendance? Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. This, designate a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or from the sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. Excellent, very nice. Thank you, Debbie. Anything from this uh, paragraph, guys? Driveway. Ah, at the end of the driveway is como donde, como parqueo donde ustedes colocan los carros. Eso es un driveway. Ahora, right, donde pueden entrar o salir carros o camiones, en todo caso, si fuera una, una eh, fábrica, el driveway es donde pueden entrar y salir camiones. Ahora, right, that's the driveway. Tiene que ver con el paso de carro. All right, anything else? Sidewalk. Sidewalk. Sidewalk es esa acera. Acera. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Let's see. Um, who wants to read the last paragraph? Oh, no, tenemos todavía dos. Once out, stay out. ¿Quién quiere leer esa? Only one volunteer. Thank you, Chan. <laughs> All right, Chamba is first, and then Mariano, you can read the last one. Okay. Designate, um, no. El otro, once out, stay out. Once, once out, stay out. Remember to escape first, then notify the fire department. Never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone missing, tell the firefighters. They are equipped to perform rescue safely. All right, very Finally, good. having working a smoke alarm installed on every level of the building, dramatically increase your chance of survival. A smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and change with a new ones at the least once a year. Excellent, Chamba, very nice. All right, very good. En esos dos paragraphs, lo salvaron, Mariano. <laughs> In this, the, these last two paragraphs, do you have any questions about any of the words? No? What am I? How Mariano, excuse me, Mariano. Dramat dramatically. Dram dramatically. Dram Dra dramatically. Dramatically. Okay. Dramatically. Thank yes. You. Okay. Very good. Da Dani. Uh, once out, stay out. Es una vez afuera, manténgase afuera. Y quédese afuera para que va a entrar. All right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> eso, eso digo yo. Eso digo yo. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yes, very good. Okay, anybody else? Any other word? The pronunciation is firefighter. Firefighters, yes. Uh, firefighters. Firefighters, uh huh. Okay. Yes, very good. Okay. Acuérdese la pronunciación eh, equipped. Tiene de determinación con ED, ¿verdad? Tenemos que tener cuidado con esas. Equipped. Tenemos installed. Tested, changed, en este último párrafo, pero han habido varias en los otros párrafos anteriores. All right. Now, here, 
Eh, because of time, mañana igual vamos a terminar de contestar esas y vamos a hacer otras actividades just to wrap up the intermediate too. All right. Lo vamos a dejar aquí mañana. Yo voy a tomar la asistencia. Mañana entramos a clase revisando otra vez la lectura. Se las voy a leer yo. Luego revisamos eh, the exercise number three. Si sí, vamos a ver mañana lo que les decía de los eh, algunos videos que están por ahí that I want you to check and I want you to um, watch. All right, so that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Igual, acuérdense, mañana entramos a las ocho, pero salimos nueve y media. All right, y tenemos que tomar la asistencia. <laughs> Debbie. All right, tenemos que tomar la asistencia. Eh, perdón, la... Ah, El, el cuestionario de satisfacción. Ahora right, eso lo vamos a hacer mañana aquí en clase. No me lo haga antes. Tiene que tomar la foto igual que ya lo ha enviado. All right, guys, let's see here. We're going to take the last attendance so you guys may go rest. Just give me one second so this loads up. All right, I've literally Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. C. Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Leticia Guadalupe García de Fernanda. Thank you, Vane. Mariano José Vaca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Eh, Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Miss. Thank you, Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. All right. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. And Present. Thank you. And they just mean Giron Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent. All right, guys. Si en caso todavía me debe plataforma, por favor, termínela. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Ajá, Mariano. Se delató solito. Bye, guys. Nos vemos mañana. Take care. Have a good night. Bye, Bye. teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye, good night. Bye, good night. Bye, Daniel. Bye. Good night. Bye.